Hey there, Ramblin' Pam here. We're in Quartzsite today to give you an overview of the geoglyphs in the area. Geoglyphs are also known as intaglios. So that's the gate to go in. So you just have to pull apart that and then walk in. And then there's a trail that leads you around. These are the intaglios on the other side of Q Mountain in the Quartzsite. We're going to do a drone shot of this also. You can see kind of from the ground there's an arrow right there and they say that that points towards the Baus fisherman in Talio and that's over by Baus off of Plumosa Road. Can't see a very good shot right now, but with the drone we should get a better one. Sometime after 1927, when Charles Lindbergh flew his Spirit of St. Louis from New York to France, another pilot flying along the Colorado River first noticed these huge drawings on the ground just north of Blythe, California. One of the drawings measured 176 feet in length. Since that time, at least 200 more images have been discovered along the river from Nevada to the Gulf of California. Some historians say that these figures were created by the Mojave Cachin Indians living along the Colorado River, possibly dating between 450 and 2,000 years old. However, some of the intaglios near White, California, possibly resemble a horse. If this is correct, that would mean they were created more recently because horses weren't brought here until Europeans arrived after Columbus discovered America. The geoglyphs were made by carving away the darker top layer of rock in the desert scape, leaving a lighter sand color. We always refer to the dark top layer of rock as desert bark. Over time, these giant designs of human and animal figures have made it through the harsh desert weather. It's really a shame that more recently some intaglios have been damaged from motorcycles, SUVs, and quads. You really can't see them unless you're taking drone shots. These intaglios have now been fenced off to protect them. This is a pretty cool find, I have to say. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and we will catch up with you down the road.